Piemont's dad, Don, is an actor primarily in the soap opera world. He played Brad Carlton on The Young and the Restless for nearly 25 years, before they killed him off in 2009. Last five. That doesn't mean you die, though. In yeah, soap operas, today, right? yes. Yeah. In soap operas, you go to another one, The Bold and the Beautiful, and there he is with Xander's stepmother, who is also an actress. And a very famous family, and with a soon-to-be much more well-known son, Xander, the true freshman quarterback. And imagine as a parent, whether you're a soap star or not, how emotional it is oh, when you get the call yeah, on Monday. Hey, Mom and Dad, guess what? Remember I was supposed to sit out this season and not play? Well, that's not going to happen anymore, <laughs> and we're going to start against Michigan State. And apparently Don, his father, had a very difficult time sleeping this week. The son handled it apparently much better than his dad. And now Sander has to make some something happen in the passing game. And that going to be able to rely on Tevin Coleman because he's going to be a marked man, even though he's over 100 yards. It's going to be pretty tough to make up 18 points just with a ground game. But if you're just joining us, Indiana is down to their fifth string quarterback, Nate Sudfeld, who was the starter, got hurt last week against Iowa. So did the backup, Chris Covington. Two guys had transferred before the season. But Diamant, a guy that they recruited, he came out here from Venice, California to a, uh, a camp during the summer. They liked his command. They liked that he had some confidence. He had plenty of arm, could run a little bit. So they liked him. The out is out of bounds. And he was not highly recruited because of his size. He's listed at 6'1", 175, and in college football, that usually means you're 5'11 and a half, 165 pounds with an anvil in your pocket, and they're going to need to put some meat on his bum. But you, you hear that a lot, guys who were kind of under-recruited, not under-recruited, but not recruited a lot, end up a place almost across the country. It's because Diamant made the effort to come to camp. Exactly. And he, he liked this offense. He liked what they were doing. Felt like it fit his skill set. And uh, so that's why they ended up recruiting him. Indiana will have to kick it away, and we will check on with Janine Edwards up in the stands this time. That's right. I'm up here with Don and his lovely wife, Cindy, and watching your son Xander play in his first college game. Yeah. I think you were maybe more nervous than he was. What's this been like for you so far? Well, uh, uh, you know what? Yeah, so, you know, a little nervous, right? A little nervous, but... Uh... Most definitely I was more nervous than Alexander. I think knowing his confidence and his ability, he calmed me down. He was much cooler and calmer than I've been. I had a lot of confidence in him. You had confidence. You told me even as a little boy, he had confidence in his ability and has always been a competitor. Where did that come from? I always joke that, that Donald sneezed and out came Alexander because they are identical. He is identical to his father. I raised him to be... Uh... A competitor, and he is, he is that and more. He's, a, he's, a tough as, he's tough as nails. Well, tell the audience, because they may not know, you come from a real sports-loving, very involved family. Uh, yeah, my brother was a, a tremendous athlete, a competitive uh, swimmer, played uh, football. My dad, uh, also a multi-sport athlete. My uncle, my mom, was a skier and a swimmer, and uh, I played, you know, just about every sport there was in I, high school. I told the viewers, you guys had ESPN in your, on in your house all the time, and you told your son last night, can you believe yeah. you are going to be yeah. doing what you're doing today? What did he say? We used to sit on the couch. We'd be watching uh, whatever, you know, some college, whatever uh, uh, college teams uh, that were playing, and uh, I'd turn and look at him and say, you just keep doing what you're doing. And that's going to be you on ESPN someday. And so we couldn't believe when his yeah. first game was, uh, was on ESPN. Unbelievable. And here he is. And guys, Cindy compared this to the nerves you feel bef when you're performing before a live studio audience. It's just as nerve-wracking. Back to you guys. You know, I must admit, I have enjoyed watching Don throughout his career because I, uh, uh, I watched a lot of soap operas. They're pretty good stuff. Had a nice long career. Of course, you must have, you, you Academy Award-winning W. But Don, who's had a long career on daytime television, was 1990. He was one of the sexiest men alive by People magazine. So he's a well-known guy, and it's kind of neat to see his son 
He was, uh, not, not, not surprised his son is okay under the break. No. He was both old and beautiful and young and restless. <laughs>